and even some the federal government, they don't clear the air on top of the recent increase for pump price of petrol. We don't continue to receive condemnation nationwide. The Minister for Information Lai Mohamed Inyan to newsmen for Abuja and say with the loss of over 60% of the federal government revenue sake of COVID-19 pandemic, so the government no fit pay for the subsidy regime. And even have the minister been condemned those who they in the way to make political gain from the crisis. And still Yan say the federal government could do every every and with them fit to take reduce the effect of the increased cost of petrol for the poorest of the poor Nigerians. I'll talk talk person, Amadine Uyi. Sama was more reports. The emergency press conference was called by the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Press Silva, and the Minister of Power, Sally Maman. It was supposed to clear the air on the recent increase in pump price of petroleum and increase in electricity tariff. The ministers all admitted that Nigeria's situation had become dire, thus the decision by government. If you have a situation, even privately, where you have lost 60% of your income, due to no fault of yours, strictly speaking, because in the whole world, nobody prepared for COVID-19. COVID-19 happened on us and immediately eroded demand for our product, our most important product, which is Crude oil. Demand for crude oil completely dropped because most countries, all countries in the world, were on lockdown at the same time. I mean, that is very easy for all of us to understand. The truth of the matter is that subsidizing for is no longer feasible, especially under the prevailing economic conditions in the country. The government simply can no longer afford for a subsidy. As revenues and foreign exchange earnings are falling by almost 60% due to the downturn in the fortunes of the oil sector. The Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, says he returned to the subsidy regime, which has gulped almost 1.5 trillion naira in the last three years, will be disastrous for the nation. Federal government is not unmindful of the pains associated with higher fuel prices at this time. That is why we will continue to seek ways to cushion the pains, especially for the most vulnerable Nigerians. With 60% less revenue today, we cannot afford the cost. The second danger is the potential return of fuel queues, which has thankfully become a thing of the past under this administration. The days in which Nigerians queue for hours and days just to buy petrol, often at very high prices, are gone for good. Of course, there is also no provision for first subsidy in the revised 2020 budget. The Minister of Information also cleared the air on estimated billing by electricity distribution companies and tariff increase by the federal government, saying not all Nigerians will be affected. Only customers with guaranteed the minimum of 12 hours of electricity per day can have their tariff adjusted. Those who get less than 12 hours supply will experience no increase. This is the largest group of customers. NARC will also strictly enforce the capping regulation to ensure that unmetered customers are not charged beyond the metered customers in the neighborhood. In other words, there will be no more estimated billings. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa.